Hello Internet, it's Sam Goldstein, the inventor of Goldmosh, the application, also known as Sam Mutant, uh, and also found on jonesypop.com. You can find me on both those sites. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the artware that I recently created called Goldmosh, which hopefully you downloaded from jonesypop.com slash goldmosh. Looks a little something like this. So, first thing you should do is Decide whether you want to have regular Gold Mosh or Gold Mosh Live. Uh, you can read about what each of them has over here, then download them. Then you'll unzip them and have them on your desktop. Um, it's pretty straightforward from here. So open it up, take the application, Gold Mosh, and put it on your desktop or wherever you want to keep it. Then open it up. you are going to have to sign a little license agreement nothing too serious it just says that you promise that you will post all the work you make using Goldmosh and you'll tag it with Goldmosh or, or, and or Datamosh I'll click OK okay so this is the main interface for Goldmosh the window, this window here um, if this is your first time using it you can just get started right from here if you've used it before I would recommend clicking remove old video before you do anything else just in case because you can never be too sure. So what you're going to need to get started is a YouTube video which I conveniently already have here. These guys are cool. I don't really know them too well but they made a nice video and it moshes nicely too. So what you do here now you're going to click on rip from YouTube and this one is going to pop up. You're going to want to right paste, right click and paste the URL in there. Hit OK and you'll see there should be numbers showing up over in this area underneath RIP from YouTube. It will show you how much has been downloaded. And then there you go. The download is done. The video has been glitched. Uh, you can just watch it straight forward if you want. Interesting stuff happens there. It's pretty cool. Um, but the really powerful stuff that Goldmosh can do for you is over on the left side of the video, all these different options. So I'll just go through them one at a time and explain what they are and uh, how they work. So, first up is the bloom effect, which is that effect that you've probably seen all over from data moshing. It's like uh, the pixels sort of spread into lots of really interesting colors. So, to use this one, you use this secondary timeline down underneath the play bar to pick a frame to start at, and then start the video and click on bloom effect, or you can press B, and you can see here what it does. You can look at different parts in the video for different areas where something cool can happen. Uh, and then you can combine it with other effects over on the side. Um, next there's also Play Randomly, which is pretty self-explanatory. It randomly goes to a new frame every certain amount of time you can set it. It's automatically set for half a second, but you can change it all the way up to three seconds, or down to as little as 0.1 seconds, which sometimes the program has a little bit of trouble um, holding on to. But, so you can mess around with that. Then you have the slow bloom play. To use that you're going to have to turn bloom back on and then turn on slow bloom play which in this case automatically advances the frame every second or every variable amount of time. You can set it all the way up to three seconds also. So this is for a more subtle sort of bloom effect um, moving through the video. So you can see there, like it just moved forward a frame and the bloom sort of disappeared. Um, but you can get some really interesting effects out of that one also. Um, then you have the loop over here. The, the loop automatically sets to be a certain amount of time at the beginning of the video, but you can set it for anywhere using the I and O keys. So I to set the beginning, O to set the end, and then hit the L key to turn the loop on. And it'll play that section of video over and over again. You can also edit that using the bars on the actual play bar itself. You can get some really interesting effects out of that too if you find cool places in the video. Um, turn that on and off with L or just clicking. Uh, and then finally we have the record feature here. So you click on that, name the video, and where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it on the desktop. I'm going to call it CoolVid1. Because it's all about being able to find your videos later. Then start the video, stop the video, play around with it, add in weird stuff, play randomly. 
and then when you're done, just hit stop down here, and then hit stop up here, turn off play randomly, and then you should have the video on your desktop saved with audio and everything ready to be uploaded to the internet or anywhere else you want to put it. Um, those are really the basics of how the program works. If you have Goldmosh Live, uh, I'm going to do another quick tutorial on that one. So that is, that's basically it for the program. All the controls are over here if you ever need to be reminded. Um, other than that, that's really it. You should check out goldmosh.tumblr.com. I'm posting updates there on new software, new versions, uh, work other people have done. And the whole project is open source. So if you want to download the source code and work on your own version of this and upload that, work on anything cool like that, go to github.com slash quintal slash goldmosh. There's instructions there on how to build it, uh, all that stuff. And be sure to keep me updated, keep everyone else updated, and enjoy the moshing.